Hi my loves, today I'm doing another viewer request video. I've had a viewer specially request a scorpion video. So tonight I'm going to be showing you guys some scorpions. I am going to free handle this one, so do not try this at home. This is a special species of scorpion. If you guys know what this is, this is actually called a whip scorpion. It is not a true scorpion. It is what most people would call a vinegaroon. They are non-venomous. However, they look awfully scary. These are native to the American Southwest and they are carnivorous but not considered medically significant to humans. Although they are an arachnid, they actually have six legs that they walk on and the front two appendages are actually used more like antenna. Notice they have a whip-like tail. Often in nature you'll find them with their tails broken off. So this one, although it's wild caught, is actually quite an unusually beautiful specimen. There you go, although it's not a true scorpion. The vinegaroon whip scorpion. The next scorpion is a true scorpion. This animal is wild caught, which is why it is in a small quarantine container. This week it is getting ready to come out of quarantine, so he will be rehoused in a nice shoebox. This is a large scorpion that is native to Arizona and California. This is commonly known as a desert hairy, and you can see it's quite large. This is a blonde scorpion that is big, and although it is less toxic, it can deliver a powerful punch with that giant stinger and those powerful claws. Last but definitely not least, one of my beautiful, amazing, most fantastic scorpions. This is the Parabuthus transvalicus, the African spitting scorpion. So yes, they can spit venom. I've never seen them do it. They're real sweetheart. So this animal I've actually had from a teeny tiny little baby. Out of the 10 most deadly scorpions in the world, this one ranks number nine. So it is beautiful, small, but deadly. I have had this one since it was very, very tiny. I got it four or five years ago. I got this animal from Barney Tomberlin and Shane Birchfield. They produced this animal in captivity. They own Bugs of America, formerly known as Hitari Invertebrates. Although I believe uh, Mr. Tomberlin has retired, only Shane owns it now. I highly recommend them anytime you are looking for a rare and obscure animal. You can always find them on Google. So that is Bugs of America. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was my scorpion video per viewer request. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me below. You can also donate to the fundraiser I have right now at fundanything.com to help me build ZooTube. And you can always check me out on Facebook or email me at deadlytarantulagirl at yahoo.com. See you guys next time.